Okay, so this is what you're going to see when you first get Sony Vegas Pro 11. Okay, so this is the default setup. Now right down here, I have a couple different things. Uh, my Project Media Explorer Transitions and Media Generators. Now if I go up to my View button, if I want to add Video Effects, Video Effects is now going to end up down here. Now I can change that just by dragging it where I want it. So if I want my Explorer first online, uh, project media, video effects. I, I can just put them in any order I want to. So that's fairly easy and it's kind of a new feature over the last couple of uh, versions they've had. The project trimmer, this right here, is actually uh, not, you know, you're not going to use that a lot. You could later on, but uh, I'm just going to X out of that. And so what I want to see here is, let's say, explore um, usually have it set up about like this so I have my files my computer and then what's in those files right here so if I uh, click on communications here's my uh, you know what's in that file uh, here's my my window viewer project media viewer um, here's my master bus now over here I'd really like to see uh, is where I like my lighting scope so here I'm gonna click on my view and go to Windows layout and color correction okay I'm going to grab this where the little dots are and I'm going to move it all the way over here. So now I have my my Explorer set up with my other tabs that I'd like, my uh, preview window, my master bus is laid out right here for easy access, and my lighting is right here. So I just scoot that all the way over. I don't need it and I make this as small as possible so it's still in the board. So my window my video preview window is as large as I want it just by click on the bar and drag it down and up. And then as I add different pieces of media in, uh, they're going to be down in this area. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And I'm just going to add in, you can double click on those to open files actually that are over on this side. So now as I click on this and drag it down, now I've added once again a uh, event to my video timeline and my audio timeline. Don't forget in your track effects on your audio when you add a new track to unclick track noise gate and track compressor. I'm sure they'll eventually let you make your own template setup, but for now just do that. It just it messes with the sound and unless you're really good at audio, it's it's really just going to confuse you. So